Attention, attention. Concrete, steel, wood, paid underground parking, designer coffee, crowded bars, restaurants, and lift lines. So, what happened to the good old days when going to the mountain was not about how you got up, but how you got down amongst family and friends? Well, there's a land that holds skiing to its pure and original form, a land with a secret castle, where the sport of gliding on frozen white crystals remains as pure as its Tyrolean roots. Each year, Powder Pilgrims set out to find the Secret Castle, a place rich in legend and lore. Legend has it, the only way to get to the Secret Castle is on horseback along the castle trail. If you ask about a shortcut, locals will send you on a wild ride, the first of many tests of castle-style bravado. Why is Castle Mountain such a secret? Is Castle Mountain? There's not enough people that are courageous in this world that ski here. At Castle, you'll find high-speed, leather-padded comfort. State-of-the-art, well, in 1979. Hey, my name is Pete Hodson, uh, 18 years old, grew up in Pinch Creek, Alberta, uh, I like to ski Big Mountain, and I like doing backflips off cliffs. Pete grew up at Castle in the racing program, but when he realized that doing flips between gates wasn't proper race etiquette, he switched to free riding and free ripping. On the main mountain, you'll find nothing but steep and deep. If you can, follow Jeff. Since his night job is grooming, he knows exactly where to find the terrain his cat can't get to. Uh, my name is Jeff Harker. I'm 19 from uh, Lethbridge, Alberta. Big mountain and Going big is my specialty, and I've been having lots of fun doing Lincoln loops and 540s and stuff this year. Just going big. You'll be glad to know Castle's classic lift system will allow your body much needed rest between 2,800 vertical feet of perfect fall line ripping. <laughs> in Peter's wake. My name is Sean Mark Martel. I'm 30 years old from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. I just like ripping big mountains, big lines, and I tr try to keep up with the kids in the park. At most resorts, first lift is coveted. Here, Rise at your leisure, because after a snowfall, there's loads of fresh, untracked white gold for days. At Castle, remember, they have a saying. It's not how you get up, it's how you get down. Here you'll find two tea bars. The fun tea bar is a classic ski bar. Here the king holds court. 
challenging eager knights to prove their manhood. I probably have more say than anybody about who gets to go first, oh, right? Because you gotta go. <laughs> well, <laughs> say we wrote Shambow for him. If I don't go, no, no. no. Paper, stone, done deal. No. That's wimpy. That's a city way. That's a city way. Table reverse. You guys want to table reverse? See who's more macho and who can have the first line tomorrow? Then go for it. I'm on East Base, actually. Okay, well, yeah, well I, I want East Base. There you go. Oh, There's man. the traverse right North there. Aspen. Locals have long dreamed of being the legend who conquered the East Base. A male proving ritual will decide who gets the first descent. He wants it. This is for the East Face right here. <laughs> this game is a human version of chimpanzee jungle play. Here, it's a bravado tradition called the Castle Table Traverse. The challenge, circumnavigate the table. Don't touch the floor or the gum under the tables. Scott Iron Legs Mandel is reigning champ and the inventor of the table traverse. How does he do it? Locals have yet to figure out that Scott has a twin brother, Steve. That's why his record is double that of any other guy. If you're skiing behind Scott or Steve, good luck keeping up with that pair. John Mark is the oldest of the guys and Pete and Jeff's old racing coach. He used to show them up by skiing down chutes backwards. Now the students traverse past the master. The winner traverses the table the most times and becomes the dominant chimp. That means first dibs on the East Face. This is potentially for the greatest line ever skied this valley. Crew drops some bombs for safety and fun. The helicopter tows into the peak as the ridge is too narrow to land. The boys once again earn the right to their first descent. Since King Adam is busy dropping charges, Pete leads out, making his own rules. First up, first down. Pete rips up the East Face in under four minutes, a first ascent that creates the legend of Pete Hodgson. It's a sustained 45 degree pitch the four guys had to pick their lines to the rock bands from the helicopter and use gut instinct on the way down. Twenty seven hundred vertical feet down. Pete goes for what he thought was a 60-foot cliff. Turns out, he underestimated. Ah, to have the bravado of an 18-year-old. You're officially the first guy to ever ski that, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Coming in off the top, the snow was really nice, and then uh, just kind of snaking through those cliff bands, you just kind of had to take your time and play it cool. Scoping out a cliff on the lower right-hand side of it, so I made one big arc across. Started coming down again, went off the cliff, and realized it was about 20 feet bigger than I thought it was. But it was a good run. It was pretty stoked. I'm happy. I just did the thickest line I've ever seen in my entire life, let alone right. My heart is going a million miles a minute, and that's not even close to what it was doing up there. That's all I got. <laughs> Jeff takes second descent. As you watch this, remember, if you're fortunate enough to meet a castle local and they say, follow me, think twice about that offer. It might be the ride of your life or the end of it.
How'd that feel to be the first one? Like, looking at it for so many years, and then actually like standing at the top of it, and you're just like, wow. As impressed with the locals as we were, apparently there was one more thing we needed to see the nightlife. Jean-Marc told us this is a great way to roast marshmallows. Skewer them with your bowls, add lots of speed, and toast. By the way, kids, the growing up ones too, don't try this at home. So by now, you've likely guessed that this Wild West powder playground is Alberta, a land offering a pure ski experience. Alberta's secret castle is Castle Mountain Resort in the pristine southern Alberta Rockies. The locals have kept Castle and Albertan secret for 40 years. They've decided to open their arms to the world to celebrate their new intermediate terrain and triple chair bringing their lift system squarely into the 80s arrive how you choose horse thumb bus or car and remember as another legend warren miller always said if you don't do it this year you'll be one year older when you do You know, like 90% of the skiers here are good skiers, so you don't have to dodge gorbs all day. <laughs> yeah, that'll make it in there. All right. And action. Oh, yeah. I would love to steal this cat and just go make a huge booter somewhere, you know? 